So this is a London Crime Statistic report. This report provides an overview of crime activities reported by the City of London and the Metropolitan Police Service for the period of 2020 to 2022. So it's been a while I created the demo. I just decided to let me um, do something and then uh, put it online. So from this report here, you can see a trend here that is showing how crime has been moving in, in London, right? How crime has been moving a lot of from um, January 2020 up to the, like December 2022. And right here from this report, you can check the user guide before you go into the report. So you see, uh, you know how to use the report. So that's like a user guide. So it's, it's kind of guide you on how to use the report. This one introduces you to the report. This one explains how you're going to select the slicer. You can switch to dark mode. You can click here to read your user guide. You can click these buttons here to navigate. And then you can drill through on the map. You can drill on the map. And this is a, these are the different pages of the report. So I'm going to go to overview page, the crime overview page. So this is the overview page. I can see different things here. I can see the crime rate by Buru. I can see crime rate trend, the crime rate per 1k population, by crime type, by month. And this is the outcome. Investigation complete. How many crime rates uh, fall under this outcome? How many crime rates is under investigation? So I can see the change to last year. Right here also is a slicer that you can click on. You can click on this slicer here and also search. You can click on this slicer as well. And then another thing you can also do on this report is if you look at this reported by IR City of London Police and Metropolitan Police, when you click on City of London Police, if you go to City of London Police website, you notice that they always have this kind of red background. So this dashboard is also made that way too. So when you click City of London, it's going to change the dashboard to a shade of red. And this is the shade of red. And if I click Metropolitan Police in their website, I think they are they like they have like blue. So when you click Metropolitan, it's going to change the dashboard to a shade of blue. And you can see this is like a shade of blue. So this just represents uh, Metropolitan Police. And when you are not selecting anything, it will return the color back to the normal white. Now I can also kind of expand this uh, map to see it in a big view. Okay, and right here, this is the map. So you can over your mouse on the map for two tips to get more information. You can also drill down to LSOE. So when I click any of these borrow, let's see. Okay, you can see drill it down to the LSOE. So these are the different LSOE in the in the, uh, Westminster. This is Westminster 018C. And you can see this Westminster 013E. There's a lot of crime happening here uh, compared to also here as well. And there's just some lighter crime in the past of Westminster, which is uh, Westminster 002B. And this is probably because Westminster is like a tourist area. A lot of people come here, so there's a lot of crime. So if I go back, and then let's pick another uh, borough. So I'm going to select um, anyone, maybe this one. Uh, this is Newham. Let's see the LSO in Newham. Okay, so you can see it's also drilled down Newham and then this particular LSOE here, uh, Newham 013G. There is a lot of crime reported here and then the more crime there is shoplifting and also antisocial behaviors and theft. So probably Newham has a lot of shopping places, shops and all those places. That's why they have this um, a lot of crime recorded, like 4,500 crime recorded. So you can keep drilling like that to... Uh, different uh, bureau to see what is going on there okay so these are the list of all the bureaus as well and you can see their crime so you can see westminster has the highest crime followed by 
to where I'm led, followed by Newham, Camden, and then the rest. So let me close this. Okay, so also here as well, I can drill down um, to find out more details from this map. So this map has a lot of features. So if I select any of this um, um, brewery, for example, so this is uh, Westminster, the Westminster we checked the other time. So if I select Westminster, the button is going to come up here. Look at this button that shows me how to drill through for more details. So I'm going to select that button. Okay, so this is what the drill down that the, the button is going to give me. And right here, you can see the list of LSOE name, you can see their crime, you can see crime per population, you can see the trend, and you can see the, the type of crime that usually happen in this uh, LSOE. I'm not doing here. So if I even select one, this 11, that has 11,000 crimes. So when I select it, to look at the area that really has um, um, those crime in this LSOE. And then right here, you'll be able to see the breakdown of the crime. So in this particular area called um, near marketplace in LSOE. So there used to be a lot of theft here. So if you are staying in this kind of area, you are going to this place for um, kind of visit or tourism, right? You should be careful of that market um, place. And then you should be careful of um, uh, near shopping area as well. There's a lot of crime recorded in that place. There's a slight crime recorded around um, um, Bruton place. So probably should be careful. Um, and also here, there's also a less crime in Duke's yard. So there's really not a lot of crime here, although there's theft, but it's not that much compared to the shopping area. So let me drill down on another Buri and let's see. Okay, so I'm going to select City of London, although 8,000 crime was recorded here. So I'm going to select it. Let's see what is going on in City of London. So once I select, I'm going to click this button to drill to, to City of London. So City of London has 8,000 crime um, reported there and they have just only 6 LSOA. So these are the, the LSOA. So when I drill down to one of the LSOA, let me even see this lowest LSOA, City of London 001C that has 118 crime. So let's see what is going on in that particular area. Okay, so in the area, actually, um, there's a lot of crime on this particular street, um, on or near Peach Street. So if you are staying in this area in the city of London, there's a lot of theft in this place. And then when you come here as well, uh, I can see uh, this particular area, the street is not named so there's a lot of antisocial behavior here and uh, let me look at this one there's also a lot of vehicle crime in golden lane so if you stay in golden lane just be careful there's a lot of vehicle crime in this particular place and then here when you look at it there's um oh no this street is not named but i know there's violence and sexual offense uh this is a residential area so there's a lot of violence and sexual offenses so females should be careful here so this dashboard has a lot of capability you can drill down yourself and check um different things yourself even before you go to london check some areas that you are going to know the number of crimes that occur in that area and you need to know you need to be careful right on how you leave your vehicle look at this place for example near adasquad street there's a lot of vehicle crime this is like 22 vehicle crime reported this year so this dashboard also have another capability of you changing the um, entire color of the dashboard you know sometimes some people don't like um, a, a white dashboard like this they prefer a dark mode probably because of their high they prepare a dark, a dark mode so you can switch this dashboard from light mode to dark mode All right, so this is how the dark mode looks like. So you are currently on dark mode now, and then you can do everything I did in light mode in dark mode as well. In fact, you can even view the user guide in dark mode. When you select the view user guide, it's going to show you the user guide also in a dark mode. So you read everything about the dashboard. If you want to use the dark mode, use everything. So these are the different dashboard, right? These are the different uh, pages of the dashboard. In, the, in dark mode so you can click to go to this dashboard but now you're using a dark mode no longer in black mode but for me i think i'll prefer 
the light mode <laughs> for my for my view right so let me switch it back to light mode all right so this is just the page uh, the crime overview page so if you ever eyes on this you see it's a little bit giving you some color so let me go to forecast page All right, so this is the forecast speed. This crime rate forecast is based on 18 months data points. Five points is now 10 and 80% confidence interval. And then based on my analysis, I noticed that crime rate is likely to increase significantly by five to 8% in 2023 and then 2024, right? Because if you look at the trend of the crime rate forecast, you will see in 2023, it's kind of um, going down, but now in 2024, it has started going up again. It has started rising up, but it's also still going down, but let's see. But this is the rolling 12 months. You can see how it's kind of going, and these are the forecast. So this is forecast here, and based on the comments, you can see can be trended down, resulting in it at 3.5% decrease from Saturday, January 122, and the December 2022. So in 2022, can be kind of go down. But based on the forecast, I think it may probably increase again, probably because people are back from, uh, uh, people are really not work from home again. People are back to work because you know work from home in 2020 we will look at that in the next um, report because i kind of compared this with uh, uh, lockdown so um this is me just selecting everything so you can see all the tribe i was selecting drug before so you see all the tribe and you can see crime rate is kind of increasing look at the ruling 12 months it's just going up it's just going up this is one key population just going up so it's probably increase in 2023 and 2024 so you can do almost the same thing I did in the other one here and then whatever you are selecting you know I'm selecting here here we show here selection here and if I select a crime time maybe bicycle it will also show it will also show you and one beautiful thing is about this title is that it's dynamic when you select more than one crime type it also shows there so you can know that um, I'm selecting more than one So now because your crime type is only showing multiple items so you can see it here showing uh, your selection here is 2022 your crime tri crime tribe is drugs and then uh, bicycle theft you can as well switch this particular view to a dark mode too in case you prefer dark mode all right you can see the dark mode is nice as well so uh, let me switch it back to light mode Now to the next report, lockdown report. So I was looking at this crime rate and I was like, I want to compare this to lockdown, to COVID lockdown. So I know COVID first lockdown begin in March 2020 to July 2020 in London. And the second lockdown begin in November 2020 to December 2020. And the third lockdown begin in January 2021 to April 2020. These are the details of the, lo of the lockdown. So if you look at the lockdown uh, page, this dashboard kind of shows those colors. So anywhere you see this color, you know that there's a lockdown in those particular months. You can also see here there's a lockdown in those um, particular months, right? That is uh, how scalable this dashboard is. You can see the color of when there's a dashboard. And this is 2020 that I'm selecting. So if I select 2021, you know, I said there's only from January to April in 2021. So we should just have January to April colored in 2021. And then you can see that January to April is colored in 2021 and this is January to April is colored in 2021 and when I select 2022 there's no lockdown so there should be no um, color to indicate lockdown in 2022 so you can see that everything is clear there's no color to indicate that there's a lockdown now if I select 2021 back um, currently I'm looking at selection year 2020 crime type drugs burglary and robbery so I'm, I'm selecting three things I'm kind of comparing this three different crime type, which is drug, burglary, and robbery. And you can see the trend of them here. So in 2020, because there's a lockdown, based on what I, I, I got here, lockdown started in um, March 2020. And you can see that if you look at the month on month um, uh, percentage, you will see that crime drop when there's a lockdown. It's, it, it drops, significantly drop. In fact, I can look at this crime rate per month. So you can see in January, there's a lot, in February, a lot. But in March, when there's a lockdown, it drops significantly. In April, it drop. In May, also drop, 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 drop. In August, then it started going up again. August, September, uh, October. Then when there's a lockdown in October again, it also still drop. Again, 
a drop. And if you look at the different type of crime, you see that this drug, when there is lockdown, during lockdown, drug kind of increase. So because people are not going to work, a lot of people are taking drug. Right? So lockdown does not really affect a crime type like drug because people can easily get it and they are taking it a lot. So, but if you look at burglary and um, robbery, people stay at home. So there's no much of robbery and burglary because a lot of people are at home. So that kind of crime drop significantly in, in 2020. And when you look at 2021 as well, when you look at 2021 as well, you notice that COVID also affects um, um, uh, crime in 2021. It dropped significantly and the rest of 2021, it started picking up again. It started picking up, picking up again in, when there's no lockdown again. So there's a risk that when people come back to work, when people resume to work, there is going to be a lot of crime in, in US. And if you look at the comment here, it says, the implementation of work from home policy by many organizations has resulted in a reduction of crime in 2021 and 2022. In comparison to previous year, a larger number of people are working from home during 2021 and 2022, and this in turn in reducing crime rate. The resumption of on-site work by some organizations in 2022 has had an impact on crime, as the previous trend of, of reduced crime due to work from home policy has been partially reversed. So, to that 2021 at 15.1 percentage crime year on year, crime significantly dropped in 2021 due to lockdown in 2023. Crime fell during the first two months of the initial lockdown in 2020. So. That, that is just telling you that you can, you can read more comments here. So I'm going to put a link to you. Just read this um, um, dashboard. So I can switch to dark mode here as well if I want to. And I can filter by um, city of police or metropolitan police. But let's look at other reports. Okay, so other report shows me, uh, give me further analysis to crime incidents by comparing crime rates year on year. And using AI for further um, analysis. And based on my analysis, I can see that antisocial behavior accounted for the majority of increase in crime type. So there is a lot of antisocial behavior uh, crime. If you look at this table here, you see individual antisocial behavior has 415k crime, right? And this crime happens 49.4 per 1,000 population. You look at violence and sexual offenses, vehicle crime, other uh, theft. So these are the crimes that are counted for majority of um, crime crime type. So this is the crime recorded, and you can see the trend of crime year on year. So if you look at 2020, you will see there's an increase of crime in the May like that. But if you look at 2021, 2021, which is this other one, you can see there's reduce in crime. Crime reduced a lot, and that is because of um, that's because of um, uh, the the lockdown that happened in 2021 so it has significantly affect 2020 that happens in 2020 it has significantly affect 2021 so 2021 has gone down now if you look at 2022 you will see that crime has started going back up again and that's because people are resuming back to work so and if you look at september october september uh, october to november of 2022 you see that crime has gone up significantly compared to even what we have in 2020. So that is telling you that people are back to work. So a lot of crime has started happening. And if you look at the populations, uh, crime rate and population by LOC name, you see majority of our crime is coming from city of London and Westminster. So this is Westminster, and then uh, city of uh, city of, city of London, and that is because that is the major place where a lot of people go to. So there's a lot of crime in in those in those. Um, area so the spread just shows that it's city of london and then it's westminster that's and also newham so that is where we have a lot of crime per population and this ai just shows you crime type is antisocial behaviors so this is what is influencing this is what influence crime rate to increase is antisocial right and what also influences crime rate to increase crime rate for ranking population when the age is 45 to 65 it goes up to 1.44 so it, it, it's, it's like the people that are really performing a lot of crime is 45 to 65 and also 16 to 29. So those two age range, they perform a lot of crime in, in London. And then crime type is violence and sexual, that's also affect um, 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 the crime. So that's another AI part and you can see a trend of what is going on here, all the different LSOE and the different crime that was uh, committed in those LSOE. So I can also switch this to 
um, a dark mode so you see it in dark mode if you prefer dark mode great so you can see it in dark mode if you prefer dark mode and you can select the um, user guide from each of the page as well to see what is going on in the page and then access everything when you have your mouse it will tell you what the page is this is the landing page for the report high level overview of the report findings effect of COVID-19 lockdown on crime uh, this is a uh, breakdown of crime statistic by trend and analysis so let me go to the home page thank you so much for watching uh, this is just me showing you um, a this dashboard I just put it together if you really want to be some interesting dashboard like this you can reach out to me on LinkedIn and then um, let's chat thank you